Hey everybody, Jeremy here. I've had some recent feedback on a video I did a while back covering Rocky and, and or Elma Linux 9.1 and asking if the fix that I found in Proxmox, uh, which I'm not sure it's actually a fix, it's just what I found to make it work, if it works in Rocky and Elma 9.2. Well, in this video, we're going to take a look at the installation procedures of those two operating systems, Elma Linux 9.2 and Rocky Linux 9.2, and we are going to see if this, in fact, works for us. Let's get started. Okay, so what you see on your screen is I have in fact started the installation for Elma Linux 9.2. And we'll take a look at the hardware just for a reference. And what you can see is for the processor, I have selected host from the list of possible processor types. By default, it's set to KVM but that resulted in a kernel panic and the failure of the install. Setting it to host, at least so far on this Elma Linux install, is in fact working. So we can go back to the install, we'll get this to the point where it's copying files and then we'll start an install of Rocky Linux just for comparison's sake. So English is fine here. Installation destination is the only disk we've got. Set the date and time. So we got Detroit, which it looks like it's putting that in the upper peninsula for some reason. Network and host name. We will configure and we're just going to call this the device is ENS18, which is fine. And DHCP is fine. Host name is going to be Elma92. Apply. Done. Set the password for the root user. And done. And user account. And we'll say done, begin installation. Okay, so while that's doing its thing, we'll come over here and we'll create a new VM. We're gonna call this VM ID is 12024, Rocky 92. The OS is going to be Rocky 9.2. And we'll give it the same specs as the other VM. We're gonna give it 45 gigabytes SSD emulation. CPU, we're gonna give it eight cores. We're gonna select host as the type. And next, we give this 16 gigs of RAM max and minimum of eight gigs. Network is fine. Confirm and we'll say start after creation and finish. And so Elma is still processing away. And here comes Rocky. And their installation is going to be practically identical for all intents and purposes. Since, of course, they are based on Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9.2. So as you can see, this is launching just fine. And we can check on our Elma progress. And that's gonna be a little while. So I'm going to pause until we're ready to start the filling out information in Rocky Linux. I'll be right back. 
All right, here we go. This is where we started with the Elma Linux install at the beginning of the video. We'll say continue destination with automatic storage configuration. We're going to set the time zone to Detroit. Root password. User. And network and host name. Rocky 92. Apply. Done. Begin installation. And as you can see, everything is doing what it's supposed to do. We'll jump back over here to Elma. And these are going to take a little while to install. So I'm going to go ahead and come back when we're ready to move on to the next stage of things. All right, we're back again and we are at the end of the Elma Linux install procedure. So we're going to go ahead and reboot the system. And we'll have to remove the ISO image from the virtual optical drive. And OK. And it just says terminated. So what we're going to do is we're going to say stop. And then we're going to start it again. And we should end up with an Elma Linux system ready to be used or to start configuration thereof. And here we go. We're going to say no thanks to the tour. And we've got our standard desktop. We'll change the background just because. And so let's check on the Rocky Linux install. That's still got a ways to go, so that'll give us a chance to play with Elma Linux for a little while. So we've got a rather vanilla GNOME here. We can come up here to settings and we've got multitasking. It's got some hot corner stuff, number of workspaces. Uh, I generally like to have four workspaces, have them fixed. And depending on what project I'm working on, I may adjust that up or down. Online accounts, it does give you Nextcloud. We do have software updates ready to install. Go ahead and download those. And that'll give us a reason to check on our Rocky install. And Rocky is ready to go. We'll say reboot. See if we can get this out of here for the system boots from it. Hopefully that's booting off the virtual hard drive. And it appears that it did. And we should get pretty much the same Welcome to Rocky Linux. We don't need the wizard. It's got a different background, of course. Let's change it to this one. All right. So again, online accounts does have the normal suspects for online accounts here. But again, we do have updates. This time it's just a Firefox update. Restart and update. Now this is something I'm not sure why this has been sort of the mandate handed down from Red Hat and it's found its way into Rocky and Elma, but they're kind of following the, the Windows way of doing updates where you reboot and apply updates at reboot. Not necessarily my favorite way of seeing things done, but workable nonetheless. We'll get logged in with Rocky and we should be in good shape here in just a moment. And there is our desktop and Firefox update has been installed and we are listed as being up to date. 
Go ahead and close that. If we come here to the software store, browse software, we can search. And Brave browser is not listed in there. Chromium does not seem to be found either. That's all right. See if our tried and true control alt T works to bring up a terminal and does not seem to. So we will launch the terminal. Flatpak is installed. Snap is not. That's fine. And if we do LSCPU, we will see that we are running Intel Xeon E52680 V4s at 2.4 gigahertz. It gives you other information in the list, which is great. On Elma, log back in. And it appears that there's another update. So we'll have to restart one more time. And this should get us booted back up once the update is applied. Okay. And we're back at our desktop. And that's just saying that the OS updates were installed and everything is good to go. All right, as you can see, we have successfully been able to install Rocky and Elma, both the 9.2 versions on Proxmox. This is Proxmox 7.4-3. And we accomplished this using the host type of CPU when we go through the creation wizard for the VMs. This is just the first solution I found to this issue. If you know of some other solution, maybe a better solution, let me know down in the comments because I would love to be able to pass that information along to my audience. We're building a community here and I love to get help from other people and not only to help people, but to improve my own knowledge as well so I can work towards providing the best possible information to my viewers. And on that note, we're at the end of another video. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate the support and I hope to see you in the next video. Have a great day.